I'm at the old Bedford Middle School in the town. I met with a group of people who couldn't make it out to the ceremony today, but they created their own watch party here just to see old warplanes fly in the sky. Far away from the D-Day Memorial was a small group of spectators. They may have ran into a technical difficulty. Let me just see if that's anything out there. Paul Roderick lives in town and didn't want to fight the crowd of 20,000 at the 75th anniversary ceremony for D-Day. In the distance there, you have the top of the memorial that's visible. Uh, we thought there might not be a lot of people out, which, you know, is, is great. So we have a place where we can sit, watch, enjoy the show. He and others had the same idea to come to the old Bedford Middle School and catch the warplanes fly overhead. You know, the sound of the engines. It's every World War II movie I've ever seen, you know, that just that sound of the aircraft engines and it, it reminds you of everything that took place. To help him capture the unique planes is his nine-year-old niece, Kathleen Ward. It's definitely a cool feeling when you're taking pictures of planes that are super old that you just sort of get a feel for what they were, what they felt back then. But it's a feeling that Roderick and his niece say they are thankful they can experience in the present. I think we all want to give our thanks to every one of those, those men and to their families and to those that are still alive that landed and not knowing that they'd still be here today. If you were in the town of Bedford today, chances are you saw a 1942 World War II Jeep. Well, that Jeep got a lot of people's attention. In about 30 minutes, I'll tell you who those guys were and where they came from. For now, live in the town of Bedford, I'm Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.